Let's talk about the royal family. Over the bank holiday weekend, £28 million was set aside by Rishi Sunak to fund the festivities that we saw on our TV screen. The pageantry, the concert and the bank holiday, so many viral clips, but there was one that was a personal favourite of mine. I just don't get it. I don't get any of it. <laughs> what I'm do you like, mean? You don't get in, what? Yeah. I don't get why we're so obsessed with these humans that are exactly the same. Like, it could be us four sitting there. I just don't get it. But um, are you talking about... What, you mean as royals or yeah. as, like, Kim Kardashian? Because for me, they're becoming celebrities. Well, yeah, to me, that, that's all they are. The is, Queen is, is their celebrity. For me, is brilliant. I for, love for the what? Queen. Yeah. What, how, what, they, you know, for I've, duty, responsibility, She's always worked really hard, hasn't she? But I would she? work hard if the whole country paid for me to have, like, 12 houses and work really hard. No, they don't... No, they don't pay for all of the houses. But, Just but, a few. No, <laughs> we... we, we Believe it or not, I think Stacey Solomon has a very strong point. Why is it that we're celebrating people who are just here doing their jobs? I want you to really consider what is it we're celebrating and why is it we're celebrating it? We are in the middle of so many issues, but this is what we're celebrating. We are fighting inflation, a battle that we're losing. We're also fighting against the cost of living crisis. It's not exactly going well. Meanwhile, people are losing their minds over the royal family. So what I want to ask you, what is it we're celebrating and why is it we're celebrating it? In post-colonial Britain, the need for the royal family has greatly diminished. And the reality is that this is a conversation that we have been avoiding. Mainly because one, everyone loves the Queen, and two, this is a conservative nation, and in the name of tradition, everyone wants to maintain the status quo. As a result, 28 million pounds was earmarked for this weekend's celebrations. According to British Heritage, it costs more than double this to maintain the royal family on an annual basis. We can also end this debate about the royal family being great for tourism, as according to Visit Britain, an estimated 127 billion pounds was generated as a result of tourism in the last pre-pandemic year. You want to know how much the royal family contributed to that? Less than 1% totaling to approximately 500 million pounds. If you're going to convince me that the royal family is still a necessary part of British society, they're going to have to right some wrongs, maybe return the jewels which they stole. So for now, I just want to say thank you to Queen Elizabeth and the royal family for their years of service, but I think it's time for us to consider what a post-monarchy Britain would look like.